No, I'm not being an idiot. I'm trying to recreate the dramatic effect of this. Today's random spot, we're going to be looking at the Wii, wait for it, peppermint gum. I know for a second there, a lot of you thought I was playing Wii. Perhaps the rattling of it, unfortunately, gave it away. Uh, this is a... This recreates the Wii Mote from the Nintendo Wii. Just for size comparisons, I'll bring in my Wii, Wii Mote. What a silly name. I'll bring in my Wii Mote from my Nintendo. Exact same size, the same placement of buttons. The only difference is, of course, one is a little thicker than the other, one's a little girthier. I also have the, for a lot of those people that are looking at this thinking, hey, my, my Wiimote doesn't look like that, it's only because I've got the Nyko recharging base to it. These bases actually allow you to plug them in and charge the Wiimotes instead of having to put batteries in. But aside from that, oh, it's the exact same thing, just a little more, just a little more narrow here. So, we'll move the original Wiimote out of the way. And we'll get ourselves good old red, which is actually about the same size as the Wiimote uh, peppermint gum here. Also want to point out, it's metal, which is always a nice thing. And we'll cut this open. Somebody asked me why I call my knife Big Red, or Old Red. See, I can't even remember the name myself. Um, really, I had to call my knife something. I mean, I could call it, uh, you know, cutty, uh, knifey. But I thought, no, I'm going to call it Old Red. Why? Because, well, if I'm not careful, Old Red's going to be covered in red. And that red is my blood. Very pleasant. So now that we've actually opened this, I also might add, too, that I've... I've done a little damage to the side of the remote with my sharp knife. Let's get this opened up. I'm trying to open this carefully so I'm not going to spill it everywhere. And inside, lo and behold, it looks like, yeah, it looks like chiclets. Everybody knows chiclets, right? Little chiclets. Most kids, I think, are familiar with chiclets around Halloween time because there's always that, that cheap parent the hands out little two-pack chiclet gums. I was a victim of it growing up. You always go to that one house and that parent says, here you go, and they they hand you, they palm you, you know, closed palm, they palm you the candy into the bag so that you don't actually see how much candy they're giving you. And then later on you look inside and you're like, those cheap, those cheapos, they gave me a two-pack of chiclets gum. But that's basically what this looks like, chiclets gum. So let's give it a try. Wow. It's exactly what I thought it would be. It's peppermint gum. Trademark 2008. Well, I can see two things wrong with this. One, it would have been nice, and this is just a side complaint. It would have been nice maybe if they had a little light up feature. You know, if you've seen my review, excuse me, I'm chewing some gum here. If you've seen my review of the GameCube candy container, you will, rem will remember that it actually had a light up feature and music. Now, certainly for the price that I paid for these, I think this, this was, uh, of course, I went to a more expensive store, but this gum, I think, was about $249. Yes, it's metal, but really, for the price, it would have been nice if there was a little light-up feature that at least these would have lit up. You know, that's not a small that's not a small uh, request, I don't think. I think that's a pretty small request, I think, is what I wanted to say. Um, the other thing, if it's geared towards children, because you know most of the time kids would be the ones picking these up at your toy stores or your candy stores, and they'll say, hey, Mom... Can I get the Wiimote 
gum. I don't know if I would have flavored it peppermint. Peppermint. I can ask probably several kids, hey kids, what kind of gum do you like? I'm thinking peppermint is probably going to be the furthest furthest down the scale of an answer that they, they would probably give me. I don't think anyone would say, I want peppermint gum. They might, I don't know, but usually, you know, they want bubble, bubble gum flavor, fruit flavor. Really not peppermint, though. Really, that's my only two gripes with the thing. I don't know if it's well worth it. It's certainly a fun little thing to have. And if you want to be a jerk, you could put this down with the Wii. And you could say to your friend, hey, you want to play Wii? And then you hand him this remote. And you can sit back and chuckle to yourself as he's trying to figure out why this isn't working. It would, it would make for a bit of a laugh. But uh, aside from that, I don't know if this is worth picking up. Especially the fact that it's peppermint inside. Um, but that was a random spot. Today we were looking at the Wii Peppermint Gum Container. It's a bit of a pass. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for more random spots. And I'll see you guys next time.